This is not a cat rescue story. It's a video about why there are so many cat rescue stories happening every day around New York City, what we're doing about it, and how you can help too. Because ultimately, as cat lovers, our job is to prevent cats from ever suffering outside in the first place. This video includes excerpts from my interview with The Brian Lear Show on WNYC, a special preview of the new nonprofit spay neuter clinic you helped us build, and lots of special guests. And at the end, if you make it that far, I have a request for you. I hope you enjoy. It's the Brian Lara Show on WNYC. Do we know the numbers? Do we know how many cats there are in shelters and on the streets in New York City? I'm going to give you the honest answer. No one has cared enough to find out. Wow. You have an estimate? The estimate is over 500,000 cats. What? And yes, exactly. That's the reaction that we all should have, but it all stems from a lack of upstream action. We're not spaying and neutering enough cats and dogs, and more than 50% of New Yorkers can't afford a basic vet visit. So if you follow the trail, it's actually pretty clear why we have so many cats suffering outside and in overcrowded shelters. And our mission and our goal is for there to be no cats on the street and no cats waiting around in overcrowded shelters. So we are focused almost exclusively on upstream efforts, things that are gonna actually solve the problem. So the central question, if the animal care centers of New York City are at capacity for cats, is that unusual and why is it happening now? The starting point should be that this is a decades long issue in New York City. And when you have a lack of investment or even acknowledgement of a problem for that long, there are no longer any immediate fixes available. And so we're gonna have to look at upstream solutions like significantly increasing our investment towards spay neuter services so that we can provide relief downstream for shelters. Because why does a shelter exist? They're a safety net. We are asking them to shoulder this burden, and we are asking thousands of individual rescuers and nonprofit groups like us to shoulder this burden. We owe it to these animals to understand the problem. We cannot rescue our way out of this problem. We cannot foster or adopt our way out of this problem. We're going to be here rescuing cats for 100 years if we don't go upstream and actually increase funding for spay neuter. And that's why even as a small organization, we had to acknowledge that what we were doing was not going to solve the problem. So we pivoted. We said, you know what? There's a huge gap of affordability for veterinary care in Flatbush in central Brooklyn, actually across the city, as I'm sure your listeners will tell you. And so, you know what? We're gonna build a nonprofit veterinary clinic so we can get to the root of the issue. We hired two full-time vets. We have a staff of 10 amazing folks and the entire model is focused on people and their pets and providing affordable spay neuter services and other basic wellness care. Because I don't wanna live in a world where pet ownership is a privilege for the few. I wish they were around when I was a kid. A kid from Brooklyn who grew up in abject poverty who didn't even think about owning an animal. Didn't even think about having a pet because of the cost involved. So we have to really channel the passion that we have for our own animals towards collective action so that other families can enjoy that same love and companionship. Whether it's folks who just want to have cats in their lives, who want to have animals as part of their family, and as Will was mentioning, are facing incredible barriers when it comes to, to access to care. You shouldn't have to face that because you love animals. Money should not be the thing that prevents you from a life with animals. It's, it's a privilege to share our lives with them. One, two, three. So I want you to know that this is a solvable problem. It is. Like I was working in advertising. When I learned how we can solve this, I quit my job to build the solution, which is to make veterinary care more affordable and accessible for everyone. And just think about how that feels. Doesn't that feel good to think about 
all of your neighbors and your community members being able to afford that love and companionship, not having to give up pets or abandon them outside because you can't afford to care for your pet. It feels good. It's right. It's the right thing to do. And we're building the solution right now. So I'm going to invite everyone to be a part of it. Visit us at flatbushcats.org slash build. Help us get this clinic open because if we can do it here, we can do it anywhere. Will Swigert, the executive director of Flatbush Cats. Thanks so much. Thank you, Brian.